that we always are therefore compelled to act upon the basis of what we feel. That is to say, the, to kill the person we hate. Hatred does not necessarily lead to violence. It is unacknowledged hatred that leads to violence. Honest hatred can be expressed in much simpler ways. But the expression, the recognition, the acceptance of what is honestly felt <coughs> is the moral equivalent of the vision that whatever exists is a manifestation of the divine. A mother has a child. She got it by accident, you know? And uh, she thinks, oh heavens, now I'm all tied up, full of responsibility and so on, I can't stand it. So I really didn't want to have it and I, oh, 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 no, I mustn't think that thought. <laughs> all good mothers naturally love their babies. And so when she gets the baby, she says, Darling, I love you, but her milk is sour. <laughs> and the baby gets the other message. <laughs> and the baby's mixed up. And it would be much better if that mother said to the baby, Listen, you're a pest and you're a nuisance. And I didn't want to have you around. Well, then they understand each other. And everything's clear. There's no confusion. There's nothing mixed up here. And two, when you feel somebody is a pest and a nuisance and you, you really let it go and you tell them so, you're apt in a while to get a sense of a kind of humorous feeling about it. That uh, you can begin from telling them that they're a, they're a damn nuisance and I, I, I wish you'd just disappear and get lost. After a while, you say, Yeah, you old bastard. <laughs> you know, and it begins to have a kind of affectionate feeling to it. <laughs> so, to sum up. What the mystic primarily feels is the divinity, the glory of whatever is. And when we apply that to the moral sphere, what is, is what one feels genuinely. And this must always be admitted, always allowed. It doesn't mean to say, let me emphasize this, it doesn't mean that we always are therefore compelled to act upon the basis of what we feel. But if, for a change, we would allow our feelings and look upon their comings and goings as something as beautiful and as natural and necessary as changes in the weather the going of night and day and of the four seasons. We would be at peace with ourselves because what is problematic for Western man is not so much his struggles with other people and their needs and their problems as his struggle with his own feelings. With what he will allow himself to feel and what he won't allow himself to feel. <coughs> 